Hello guys, you're welcome to the Ebri Hills and today we actually came here to exercise and as you can see you have a lot of people that are using this road every single day. This is a very fast um, developing community in Ghana. It is called Ebri and then we have a very big hill over there that people actually come here every weekend to come exercise. Uh -huh. So mostly, mostly people come here on Sundays People who are living around Medina community in Greater Accra, people are also living around Oyarefa, Oyibi, Ayimensa, um, even though there are those places all, people come. Adenta, people come, drive to this place all. Then they drive, park their cars down there, then they climb the mountain. They jog to climb the mountain and jog back. So it has always been an exercise place for most people. Most people come here to come exercise. They come alone, they come in groups, they come with their families, they come with their kids, their, their wives, their partners, their friends, the young, the old, the poor, the rich, the weak, the, the strong, the, the men, the women, the girls, the boys, everyone is here. So this is actually the place that people always come. And this place is a fast developing location. Properties in these locations are very expensive as well. Uh -huh. Properties in this location are very expensive. Uh -huh. You can't get them cheap price at all. Mm -hmm. So most people who are rich and they know they are capable, they acquire properties at this location. Especially those people who buy the lands on top of the hill. Uh, when they buy it on top of the hill, uh, they when they buy it on top of the hill, they actually spend a lot of money and time to develop it. Uh -huh. So it is important you actually know that if you're not rich, you don't come here. You understand? It's only those who are rich and capable. They are those people who acquire properties at this location. Uh -huh. And it's not for the ordinary. Mm -hmm. So most people who are living around this location, who are staying around this location, are really doing amazing. And they are rich. You can see that. This place is a very good place for people who are affluent and are elites and enjoy a lot of privacy and also want to have kind of like off-plan way of settlement. You understand? Though the township is very busy and most people who wish to engage in investments, especially in businesses, could also, you know, get those places to invest in. But naturally, you wouldn't get to acquire property at the roadside. It would be very difficult unless you show money. If you don't show money, you don't go get them. Uh -huh. So it's actually a very nice place for you to be. It's actually a very cool place as well. Mm -hmm. So you can see right from here, the road, at the, the road. This is the road at the other side. So that means that when you go to this side, you definitely come and pass at this side. To go to the what to the township, you can see the cars over there. Uh huh. To go to the township, and I'm actually going to do that as well. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that is how the road is actually. It's not a straight road. It is curvy. The road is actually curvy, and you know. <laughs> It's actually KVA, you have to be very careful when driving on it. Uh -huh. So for those of you who want to buy land in Ghana, you want to buy a house in Ghana, just check in the description of this video, you get my number, then reach me. If you also want to buy, you know, you want someone to handle a building project, check in the description of this video, you get my number, then reach me. Uh -huh. So as I told you, this place is a very fast developing location. Businesses are all established in this location. Uh -huh. So, you just have to stay tuned to keep watching to understand what is actually going on. Mm -hmm. Hello. So, <laughs> So basically, you can see people are still building down there. You can see people's projects down there. 
I'm building over there as well. Uh, so, to tell you how people are serious over there, uh, people are actually serious in Ghana. People are building houses every single day. So, though they claim the system is hard, there is poverty in the system, the system is not working, but people are still building houses every day. They are buying nice cars. And people are buying flashy cars, expensive cars. So where do they see money? Where them they see money? Where then they see money? Where do they get money? You understand? So if you are living your entire life complaining, oh my and I say oh my no, yeah, me I'm not in pol I'm not into politics, but I'm just telling you that. Oh my no yeah, but I'm more money my dear. So no, I'm with me next car so. The equipment I'm with for now next car. I said also with your car, you understand? If the system is hard, there's no job, there's economic war, there's poverty, there's this, there's that, unemployment, yes, this all exists, but still, some people still find ways and means to make money. So which way is that? There are, there are two ways though, the legit way and then the uh, illegal ways. I'm not saying you go and do the illegal way, oh, please, just find the legit way, then you work your way up. Uh, most of us are not patient. Uh, so you can see this part. Got to buy some flowers here if you want. Natural flowers. You can see that those are natural flowers right there. Uh -huh. So, you can see all this. Places like a forest, you know. Places like a forest. Yeah, so this is a kef or a ten. So reduce the way to reduce your speed limit. Two boots ahead. Two boots ahead. So I'm pretty sure you took off the the two boots. Yeah, that's the one at Ayumas, I guess. Mm -hmm. I want you two boots. So most of us are not patient. See, see people's house over there. People are building. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Most all of us are not really patient. We want quick results. Understand? We want quick results. Oh, we are doing something. So we tend to go do bad things. And if we are not like we get caught. You understand? Uh-huh. So as an individual, you have to try your best to go into investments. But even if you go into investment, it has to be a very strategic one so that we don't actually um, not progress. You have to be going to a strategic one. Stop wasting your time. A lot of people come into your life not really for your own good. They are coming for their own good. Understand? So stop wasting your time on things that don't pay. Uh, so me, I don't waste my time on things that pay. Open who be able to catch us a quiet with mommy. Go and do this work for me. Go and do this for me. I tell you that uh, you don't know tomorrow. You don't know tomorrow. Boy, pay me today. When you pay me today, tomorrow, when tomorrow comes and you help me, then you help me. Don't tell me you won't pay me just because tomorrow is not determined. Uh -huh. So, this is another video that we just made. Uh, most people are very greedy. Where do you want to obey your canal? No, you're in the yow. In the yow. So me, when I study that, I don't waste my time. Most Ghanaians are, fo are found in that, in that, in that, in that uh, realm of working and not getting paid. They just keep working and not getting paid. They keep working and not getting paid. So you can go work for your employer. He will pay you for the first three or six months, and the seventh month, you tell you things are not going on well. It's making see money. He's making money somewhere. Though that business that he has opened is not going on well. But he's seeing money, he's making money either from that business or a different place. Just because he hasn't made a profit as required, he wouldn't pay you. Then you keep working, ah, you keep working for him, you keep working, you keep working. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Uh -huh. uh, you are a businessman, whether you make profit or not, you have to pay. That's what most guardian entrepreneurs don't know. Paying salary to workers is a fixed cost. Whether you make profit or you don't make profit, you pay. You don't tell me you didn't make profit, no, you don't pay me. 
You understand? I uh, me. Uh, I'm an accounting student, so you won't bring that thing to me. Uh, so you can see that, right? Uh, so that is why we have to know there are a lot of work people are doing that they get paid and they're able to acquire properties at these locations. So it's just a matter of we asking what is the type of job people are doing that they get paid very well that we don't. Uh, Okay, if you now come see, see the house people are building at this area. You can see, it's a simple houses, but most Ghanaians cannot afford it. <laughs> most of us cannot afford it. Uh, can you do you know that in Ghana here, most people don't know how to drive. You can find a forty-year-old man, fifty-year-old man, he cannot drive. And in Ghana, it is mostly strange when you see an 18 year old kid or even less than that driving a car. It's strange. It's very strange. <laughs> I'm not saying it doesn't exist. It exists. But because of poverty, you know, most people don't get the opportunity to actually drive. They drive when they are overgrown. 35 years, 40 years, that's when they start driving. And that's not a good thing, if you understand. Uh -huh. So you can see somebody also coming, exercising with a bicycle, that's what I already showed you, see some nice houses over there as well, you can see houses, you can see, it's not kids houses, you can see houses at the very top, you can see that right, yeah. So, it's not a joke. People are not joking here. So, that is it for this video. If this is your first time here, kindly subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe, follow, and press the bell button. Also, tell them if they want to buy a land in Ghana, they want to buy a house in Ghana. Just check this video, the description of this video, you get my number that reached me. If you also want someone to handle your building project, check in the description of this video, you get my number that you reached me. I'll be glad to have you all. If you also want someone to go make a video of any property you're buying anywhere else, just let me know. I can go make those videos for you to get to see the road, how the road is, and also get to see the true nature of the property before you make, you make payments. Yeah, thank you very much. Enjoy this. Salam alaikum.